What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and in this video I'm going to be continuing and probably finishing my level 1 to overpower level 8 playthrough. Now, I think in the previous video I beat the Destruct Peak, but just a few minutes ago I did use the code on one of the Borderlands 2 trading cards that I found as a part of my uh, Borderlands 2 loot chest or diamond loot chest, whatever they call it. Anyway, um, it had a code for a Skull Masher in it, and I figured I'd go ahead and use it. Not that I plan to use the Skull Masher too much, but just because. It came with Jacob's Grip, which is pretty solid, Hyperion stock, and a uh, not very sweet uh, accessory, but it's not bad, you know? It's okay. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, he's got the Jacob's Grip, at least. At least I think that's the gr Jacob's Grip. Is that the Malawan Grip? No, nah, that's Jacob's, because the Malawan looks like this. Been a little bit since I've been looking at these grips and everything. Anyway, um, just for kicks and giggles... Oh, I was going to sell that. That's why I have that. I shouldn't drop it. Um, just for kicks and giggles, I figured since we... Hmm, I don't know which one I like better right now. Since we have, you know, done a lot of farming in this episode, specifically uh, farming the dust, I figured I would do just a little bit more uh, dust farming here in this last episode. I don't really have anything urgent to get because really we've got most of the gear we need. We have the legendary sniper class mod. Perhaps we could look for a better one. We have decent bone of the ancients. We have a decent stockpile relic. We have actually a pretty damn good longbow slag transfusion grenade. We have a serviceable slag crossfire. We have a decent quasar. We have a good antagonist shield. We have a passable B shield. Then we have really good Pimpernels, and then we have passable Lyudas. So really, we're doing really well. I also have good Chaotic Neutral and Chaotic Evil Rogue class mods. So we have pretty much everything that I quote-unquote need, but better Lyudas would, you know, definitely benefit us. Um, unfortunately, in that uh, collection of trading cards, there was no Lyuda card, or maybe I had lost it, but I didn't see one in there. Um, so... That sucks a little bit, but whatever. I figured I'd go this way just for the off chance that we might find a tubby spider ant, which would obviously uh, make it a little more likely for us to find a legendary sniper calm, which only dropped from them, so that's worth noting. And then, uh, very shortly, especially now that I actually have my 1440p set up and everything, um, we'll be starting the next playthrough where I, you know, reset Ultimate Vault Hunter mode and work my way through every quest in the game and everything. So that'll be cool. Um, that'll be beating the game start to finish uh, entirely legitimately, and minus the little save uh, file trick, but, eh, you know, that all that did was save time, basically. Otherwise, we would have been repeatedly um, <laughs> resetting the game just to run back and get more Pimpernels. It wouldn't have been incredibly difficult, it just would have been incredibly time-consuming and arduous. I don't know why I'm concentrated on killing all of the spider ants right now, but we might as well. This is probably the only time I'm going to come through this way. I figure that once we re replay through, obviously we're not going to stop looking for better gear. If we find hubbies, we're going to kill them. If we, you know, have an opportunity... Well, one thing we absolutely do need is a better trespasser, because our trespasser right now is kind of sucky. And that makes a big difference when farming peat. So, um, that's one thing that we'll definitely look for and farm for after we reset. But I don't want to uh, just work back to that, you know... Um, before starting the new playthrough and just delay it for whatever reason. Alright. So we're almost through Bug Gulch at this point, just trying to get everything slagged. Everything seems super weak right now, but they are OP8, so I guess that's good. Alright. There, it still, you know, is amazing to me that there are so many people that claimed, oh, Ultimate Vault Hunter mode's broken. As soon as level 61 was released, and for those of you who don't remember or weren't paying attention at the time, you know, weren't into the game yet, um, Borderlands 2 
first came out with it, Ultimate Vault Hunter mode as a DLC. That's when I first really got into the game, and that increased the game uh, level cap to level 61, which actually allowed you to get um, Death Blossom and Mini Must Fall at the same time. I was a big Melee Zero player at the time, and that was a huge benefit to me because I had to spec into Mini Must Fall for mobbing and not have Death Blossom. And then spec into Death Blossom for raiding and not have many must fall. And I felt like that was shallow. Like that was hollow. And I didn't like it at all. I felt like it was just needless respecking. Um, yeah, so I'm glad that uh, they increased the level cap like that. But as soon as they did that, I mean, there were people who just, oh, everything's useless in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. And that was level 61. It wasn't even hard. Like, this is OP8. It's not that hard. And I, I, I don't know. It's just mind-blowing to me that some people want games made just so ridiculously easy. I don't know. And the thing is, Ultimate Vault Hunter mode's optional. Normal mode's not. You have to play through normal mode. And so, I don't know why they, why so many people complain that the game was finally made playable is beyond me. But whatever. Um, we're going to get down here. We're going to get in our vehicle. We're going to head over to the Friendship Gulag. And once we're there, we're going to go in and out of that door. And after that, we will um, farm these guys nine more times. Then I figured I would do a couple more runs at a better B shield. Perhaps that would be useful. I don't know. Just some general farming around to kind of clean up the series because, or finish off the series. Because, um, you know, we're going to be starting a new one soon. And I figured, you know, that is... <laughs> Probably what the majority of this series was spent on, or at least that's what it felt like, because those parts were a lot less fun than the actual gameplay portions, but, eh. Hey, I forgot to save quit. I was like, why is that still catapult technical? Because I didn't save quit. Would have got up there and there would have been no Gettle and Mobley, I would have been awfully sore. I am pretty pumped with our uh, transfusion grenade there. That shit worked out. That's... I would say that's probably the hardest item to acquire. Like, a good longbow slag transfusion grenade. Uh, as far as Sniper Zero's gear setup goes. The rest of the stuff, you at least have locations to look in. You know what I mean? Um, that particular item is very, very difficult to acquire. That and the stockpile relic, but obviously the stockpile relic is significantly less important. Not to say that the stockpile relic isn't important, though. It's pretty damn important, so. Good stuff. We just use, you know, one a lot more often. Damn, no luck so far. There we go. Killed him. Alright. Perhaps I should collect some of this ammo since I used so much of it. Probably be smart. Alright. So let's go ahead and quit out now. We got eight more runs coming. So for those of you who have stuck through the series with me, you know, thank you. I know that the farming drove me mad at times. I, I just thoroughly don't fucking enjoy that. I believe that Borderlands 2 would be a much better game with weapons purchasable and, uh, you know, parts configurable. It just, and gear as well. I mean, it would absolutely be a better game. You could keep the whole level up aspect. You could still require a challenge, perhaps, to uh, get some of the weapons. Maybe via the Torg DLC way where you have to complete, you know, certain acquisitions of tokens, challenges, and stuff like that um, in order to actually purchase a weapon. And then, you know, modifying the weapon would also require some effort and everything. This blind farming, I, I don't feel that it's good game design. I believe that it originated because it was easier to program, like back in the day, you know, like full randomness and everything. Um, with no way to change anything. I, it was a more simplistic design, and I think games have, and rightfully so, mostly evolved past that for a lot of, uh, you know, reasons and in a lot of ways. But there are still certain games where 
that you know pure randomness is how it works and i might understand that for a full mmo type game or even a game with you know competitive aspects borderlands 2 is neither of those though and as a result i feel that the inclusion of pure randomness for certain things like farming for a longbow slag transfusion grenade is entirely unnecessary there's no reason for it it there doesn't exist a need so I don't know uh, that's just my thoughts on the matter some people are really really attached to it personally I am definitely not I I feel that the game could definitely be bettered by having the ability to find what you want in a reasonable fashion as in not just save quitting over and over and over and over again to farm one thing whether that be a quest item whether that be a world drop you know, whether it be an item from a golden chest that you're just spamming keys because you don't know any other better way to find a certain item that is absolutely necessary to play the game in the way that I want to play the game. So, I don't know. That's, you know, it seems bad to me. I don't know how many runs we have left. We're going to go with seven more runs. Then again, there there are people who absolutely adore Borderlands 2's loot system, but uh, and some people who hated the fact that bosses dropped assigned legendaries and wanted to go to go back to Borderlands 1 levels of randomness. I <laughs> that is personally not for me. That was one of the irritating things about Borderlands 1. It's like, oh, I want a Draco. Where do you farm for a Draco? Oh, there is no specific place to farm for a Draco. You just kind of. Eh, maybe you'll get it, maybe you won't. But keep in mind, it's not going to show up orange, it's going to show up purple without the name, so you're going to have to look for it really hard. Because of the glitch. That is a game that deserves a remake. And more DLC. This is a game that deserves more DLC. But, you know, not going to do that. So, that sucks. Zero is one of the biggest treats in recent gaming history, though. He is one of the most fun characters to play that I have ever experienced. Couldn't find the right rifle there for a second. I just wanted to kill that guy. Alright, six more runs. Shit, I'm getting really worried that I didn't set my fantasy line up right now and it's Sunday morning. Yeah. <laughs> I think I did it. I don't know for certain. I'm not going to tab out and do that right now, though. I'm fucking in the playoffs anyway. I don't care if I'm the two or the three seed. And play the same dude anyway if you're the two or the three seed with a four-man playoff. So it doesn't really matter. And I'm confirmed two or three seeds, so fuck it. I don't care if I started anybody. Okay. I, win. I should beat the person I'll play in the uh, semifinals, but because he just had a uh, you know big player injured. But um, the guy who's number one in our, our league, he's going to need to have some players sit in the final week or, I don't know, something. His team's ridiculous. He's pretty damn good at it. He picks up all the right people. He starts the right people. And he's on top of it. I'd love to beat him, though. <laughs> all I'd need is one good week when he has bad weeks. So anything's possible. Up the hill we go. Let's see. This time we're going to get a pretty sweet OP8 Fire Lyuta, I'd imagine. Now, if this was just an ultra rare, um, you know. 
configuration of the Droog, which it basically is, but the Droog had a proper way to acquire it, that would be one thing. I could be okay with that. That would be a way to make it acceptable in my mind. Like, oh, well, at least there's a way to farm for a really good purple Lyuta. But there's not. There is no way to farm specifically for a Droog. And so, this is actually the most efficient way to farm for a Vladoff Barrel, Vladoff Rifle that's purple or higher. There's no other way to do it. And that that doesn't really work out, in my opinion. Especially since a Vladoff Barrel, Vladoff Rifle, I won't say is a necessity for Sniper Zero play. It's definitely not. But, it is of great benefit for Sniper Zero play. And it's something that I definitely, definitely want. And so, it kind of sucks to have to look for it in this way. Still haven't got it. Alright, five more runs. Hmm. I don't know. Should I even be farming for that? Or should I get a better crit machine? Or a better B shield. I don't know. How would I even get a better crit machine? I'm not even entirely certain. The golden keys would be a good way to do that, but I am definitely out of those motherfuckers. Wouldn't it show it here if I had any? Yeah, I think it would. I don't have. I have diddly. So, um, we won't be using that. I don't even know if I could just. I could use another character to farm it at normal mode. Eh, I don't know. Surely there's like, uh, well, I don't know if any quest in normal mode give purple items. Hmm. I guess the only way to do it would be to farm the snowman. But, ah, fuck, I'm in the vehicle. I can't even look at my crit machine. I don't think my crit machine's terrible, though, so we'll find out. Alright, let's check this out. So it is a droog. It has not the Vlad off grip. It's a super low level, um, and it's got a bad accessory. But whatever. With the chaotic neutral rogue com, it's still a very efficient stacking tool. I don't know if I'm going to look for a better one of those. Like I said, that gets back to the whole finding a uh, Vladov barrel Vladov rifle thing. Perhaps I should have checked to see if one of my earliest uh, Lyudas was good for that. I don't know. It might have been. Not going back to normal mode to farm these guys, though, because apparently they have an even lower drop rate at normal mode. Okay. We're going to do, like, three more runs on this guy. I really don't enjoy this. I don't know why I thought farming would be fun one more time. It's it's really not. It's just not fun. Oh well. Some of the quests are going to be quite difficult to complete without optimum gear, but I think I'm up to the task. We may have to do some tricky things for the especially difficult ones, but... You know, Critical Ascension's pretty handy in that way. Your eyes deceive you. An illusion fools you all. I move for the kill. Two more runs. Now, theoretically, a better legendary sniper comm would indeed increase my percentages here on the card for sniper rifle gun damage and sniper rifle critical hit damage a little bit, but it would also, you know, drastically increase the shield penalty. So I'm not really sure what's best there. Um, I kind of enjoy the shield capacity I have, so maybe I'll leave that be. Unless we find an OP-81 and then we can weigh the uh, benefits and, you know, cost of the thing. The dust is a pretty map, I've said that before, but 
I do really like it. I guess this is the first time I've seen it in 1440p, so that's pretty. Those cutscenes, especially early in the game, the ones that are like <laughs> super shitty are going to look extra shitty on my new monitor. So, oops. That got me excited for a minute, but no, that wasn't it. We'll do one more run here. Been playing some Rocket League lately with some friends. Rocket League's a good fucking time. I like to get, you know, three or four people on a VoIP team with me and then take on challengers. A lot of people don't vote for rematch, but if you're playing one team that's all in one party, it's a rematch. <laughs> so, uh, we end up playing the same teams, you know, eh, for stints in a row. And I do feel that our voice communication, you know, if we're on a VoIP, you know, app or, you know, server or something uh, with one another, it definitely gives us an advantage. So that's kind of fun. Rocket League's a pretty well-made little game. I recommend it. Alright, so we're going to come down here and kill the shit out of Gettle. Alright, so one more run. And then I don't know what we're going to do next. We've got a few minutes to fill, so... I don't know what we'd do next. Eh, I guess I could go farm for a bee shield or... Yeah, I, I really don't know. I guess as far as farming purple items, if the snowman, I, I think he does, still drop like two purple items per kill at normal mode, um, and then with the chest dropping, uh, you know, a few purple items as well, um, that might be a good way to actually farm for a crit machine, but I don't know if I want to do that. It's probably where I first got that droog that I have, to be completely honest. Almost assuredly, I'd imagine, so... I don't know. We'll pop over there real quick. I don't... We got a couple minutes. I don't know what Mobley's doing here, but... He was standing in front, so I killed him. Alright, so it looks like... Um, we did not get a new Lyuda. So, the Lyudas we'll be going through with include a Malawan Gripped, Hyperion Scoped, Shock Lyuda with a shitty accessory, a Vladoff Gripped, Bladed Accessory Lyuda, a Bladed, Vladoff Gripped, Jacob Stock with a bad scope, Fire Lyuda that, you know, same bad scope here on the Corrosive one, and then we have here a non-elemental, decent stock, bad accessory, um, Vlad off grip. So I don't know. We're okay. Um, and then we also have this Jacob's grip one in corrosive. Eh, whatever. Damn it, Luke. You have to sell those things. You can't just give your money. All right. Where do we go next? I guess we just save quit if we're trying to get to normal mode. How do I select normal mode? There we go. Shit, I should have driven to a fast travel first. I knew that. We can blow the fuck out of people though. We're god mode now. It's like playing Salvador as zero. All right. Hey y'all, welcome to new and improved catch a ride. Now with 47 percent more that's being a little too hard on the game, I guess. Normal mode with zero at OP8 is probably more difficult than Salvador at OP8 on OP8. Yeah, almost assuredly. Okay. So, off to Tinder Snowflake we go. God, this is such a long walk, too. That's awful. I guess the Leviathan at normal mode would be a decent way to farm for a crit machine as well, but obviously I'm not going to go do all that shit. 
I'm just gonna do this like one time just to see it. I don't know. I don't really have anything else to do in this episode. I'm kind of just playing for playing right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm done farming Eliuda, which was what, the one thing that I really wanted to get a better one on. Uh, fire, primarily, but, um, eh, whatever. They're flat off grip. They just have bad accessories. And not my favorite scopes and stocks, but I can make amends for that. Work around it in a way. Uh, I don't have the fire light on, however will I kill him? This is another thing that I'm not necessarily a fan of, is them putting, like, boss spawns needless amounts from the, you know, save point or the spawn point that I don't see a benefit of it. I don't know what order I'm going to play through in or, you know, as far as the quest go when I get to uh, the new playthrough. Um... I'm not entirely certain. We gotta go pull his hat. Alright, so we got a blue item. We do have at least one purple gun, which is what I remember seeing. I missed. There we go. Okay, so we do get two purple guns every time. This time it was purple pistols. I mean, those are pretty good odds at finding a purple lat off, I have to say. Um, at least they're better than anything else I can imagine. They're still... Excuse me, I had to cough there. They're still not, like, great odds as far as, like, ideal situations would go. So maybe I phrased that wrong. But it's as good as anything I can imagine in the game or know about in the game. And then again, it's still fairly low. There are several different types of weapons that can spawn, obviously. And I think the snowman can drop shields and stuff as well. And then... Even if he dropped snipers, you could get the wrong type. Well, this didn't have many purple weapons at all. I wonder if the chest um, are shittier at normal mode, but the snowman is locked at dropping those um, two purple items every time. Not that we really need a better one. I just don't really know what to look for right now. We could go farm for a better bee shield. I'll do a couple passes at a better bee shield. Why not? So, having no luck so far, but eh, maybe we'll go to the forest here and uh, find what we need. Who knows? It's possible. People told me I fucked up that tree hugger quest. Apparently, I wasn't supposed to plant the sapling or something. I don't know. Probably should switch on over to that glorious fire. Oh, I have it on. Okay, never mind. <gasps> yeah, I don't really have anything to farm for. I think I've found most everything I need. So I'm pretty satisfied. I'll tack on the footage of me getting this Skull Masher at the end of the episode, if I remember. Um, it was very, very, very difficult for me to read the uh, printing on the card, and I it took me forever to type it all in because I was squinting so hard to see. It has kind of faded writing. 
the ink or whatever they used didn't last very well because the I, maybe the cars were all stacked together kind of tightly and that's kind of what uh, made them rub off a little bit. I don't know, but it was kind of hard to read it. I wonder if there was a White Death slash Lyuta one that I just lost or something or used. I might have used it. I don't know. No B shield, huh? Okay. That's a pretty map. They did a good job with the aesthetic of this DLC. I really despise some of the enemy design and the quest design in this DLC, though. Um, primarily the enemy design. No B shield. They did do a cool thing, though, by having some of the bosses in this DLC drop legendary items. I think they really dropped the ball on that in some of the other DLCs. Jeez, I'm going to get open all the lootable containers soon. That'll be interesting. Oh, uh, there are chests back here, huh? I should probably check them out. I'm charged up. Homing slag transfusion, wow. Geez, how many of these things do they spawn? They're not that dangerous. They're just kind of annoying. Speaking of annoying, there are a lot of annoying things going on right now. I don't know where the spiders came from. Ooh, I'm dead. Right before all those train er Damn, that sucked. I missed all of those transfusions. Oh well. These spiders blow, man. See what I mean? Just bad enemy design. Oh shit. And maybe that's hypocritical because I criticize the uh, Torg DLC for not having enough new enemies. But I felt like they could have made new enemies with better mechanics than... Um, and these are basically just spider ants. These aren't that bad, but I do despise that corrosive damage over time. But the stuff like the skeletons where their heads fall off and shit like that, that's bad enemy design, unquestionably. Um, so, uh, I really want Borderlands 3 to come out and be good and everything. Right now, they're obviously concentrated on the Battle uh, Battleborn project, but that is nearing completion, so... I'd imagine quite a few assets of Gearboxes are being moved to Borderlands 3 at this point. Obviously, they've gone through a lot of staff changes and everything else. So it's, you know, interesting to see what they might uh, come up with. I don't know. I hope it's good. I have faith. I think they'll do a good job. I think Borderlands, the pre-sequel, um, is primarily a result of Borderlands 2 being so successful that 2K wanted more before Gearbox was, you know, ready to do more. And that's why 2K Australia developed it, you know, for the most part. Obviously, they have since gone under, so... <laughs> and they're from Australia. Um, yeah, so that's, you know, something that kind of happened and everything. But, it, like I said, it will be interesting to see what happens with the Borderlands series going forward. It's obviously a fabulously uh, valuable, popular, and successful IP as a whole, 
and um, I'm sure 2K and Gearbox both want Borderlands 3 to be a real success. I'm hoping that um, probably the commercial uh, lack of success, maybe not a flop, that Borderlands the pre-sequel had will probably encourage them to do a lot of good things in um, Borderlands 3. I'm hoping. I don't know for certain. Um, but we'll see. Alright. So we did not get our B-Shield here. Which sucks. Do we have the hotfix on right now? Might as well check it, huh? Hey, we do. Okay. Neat. Well, um, yeah, I, I really don't know what to farm through next, guys. Um, do a quick southpaw run to finish off, finish it off, just for you know, kicks and giggles. Why not? Where is southpaw? Don't really have it. Uh, went past it. I might not have gone to it. Come to think of it. Because it should be right in here, right? Oh god, I don't think I ever went to it. That's interesting. I didn't unlock that other fast travel either. <laughs> That's cool though, whatever, we'll drive there. Southpaw may be difficult. Hopefully we don't die in shit. I don't think we'll die in shit. We'll find out. Probably came in on the wrong side. I should have driven around to the other side. It was probably shorter on the other map. And maybe not. Probably 6 1, half a dozen the other. It doesn't fucking matter. We're gonna get there pretty damn quick. This is a good little map. Not this one that I'm currently in. It's kind of a large map. Not that it's a bad map either, though. But the map that we're going to is definitely a good map. I like this map a lot. Alright, gear wise, let's put this dude up top. We can keep that there for whatever reason. Nah, should probably put that there. That looks good. I don't know why I want to kill these guys like this, but I'm going to. Alright. That guy already gets slagged? That's brilliant. Hey, you mad bro, rank 5. Let's do it. That guy with his fucking corrosive dot? Bullshit. Or shock dot, excuse me. Oh, I don't have the goddamn quest! I can't even get through here right now. Fuck. That blows. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't know that. <laughs> Oops. I was getting ready to murder Assassin Watt. I was just gonna wreck that fool. Oh well. Yeah guys, I really don't have anything to do here. I mean, it's done. So, I guess we'll go to Sanctuary and end the series. Um, that blows. I was almost, I was gonna really enjoy that too. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever. So, as always, guys, I do thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. I'd appreciate that as well. Um, I do have the new series coming up where I'm going to reset this character with all the gear that I've played through legitimately here and acquired legitimately, and I guess we should sell some of our bullshit right quick. Um, yeah, and that's, that's our goal, um, to make it through all the quests after that. We'll see if we can do it. I think that's all the shit I needed to sell. So we're good. Um, yeah. As always, guys, I do hope to catch you next time.
Bye, guys.